I just took my daughter, my wife and my daughter to Disneyland for my daughter's sixth birthday. And I got to tell you this, I had a blast. I had a great time. I don't know what all these parents are about. You know, I, I know, I know. They got the, the deal there where they you get off the ride. I like now when you go there, you get off the ride and you immediately go into a gift shop that has got more merchandise than that band Kiss. I mean, it's unbelievable. We went to uh, Tomorrowland. Like, oh my God, let's go to the land of tomorrow. Let's see what does. Uh, a blitz! He got some. Um, are they calling that a fumble? They're not calling that a fumble. Even a podcaster with bad eyes knows that his arm was moving forward. Maybe it wasn't. Josh Allen, slow to get up. Um, Hendrickson, proving that what he has in his hand is indeed a football. Yeah, his hand was, it was, his arm was going forward. What are we doing? Yeah. And on the replay. All right. Anyway, rule of the fumble on the play. We're now going to fucking go through nine hours of uh, investigative reporting to see if that was, in fact, an incomplete forward pass. Um, yeah, dude, the level of fucking merch out there. But what I, what I did like, though, was the amount of parents that were, like, all about it. They were, like, so into it. They had the ears on. They were dressing like characters and all of that shit. And uh, we stayed at a hotel near the premises. And um, uh, my daughter went with one of her, her, her best, oh, not one of her, literally went with her best friend, which was great. We went with another family, which was perfect because they're cool and their kid's an absolute sweetheart. And uh, so I just knew it would be a better experience if she could go with another kid the first time at Disneyland. So we went there and uh, we went downstairs for breakfast. I swear to God, Mickey Mouse was there, Minnie Mouse, Pluto, and I don't know if it was Chip or Dale. My daughter knew. I guess, like, the, their noses are different. So we got pictures with all of them. I saw Goofy for half a second, but then he, like, he like dipped out or whatever. And I'm sitting there, and I was took me back to when I, I went to Disney World a long, long, long fucking time ago. Put it this way, the last time I was at Disney World, they were building Epcot Center. Um, and they were talking about how amazing it was going to be and all of that stuff. I can't remember if I went there in this, I think I went in the 70s and then one more time in, my, in the 80s. But I remember, because I was a little kid, I remember when they were having the parade going down Main Street and all I wanted to do was meet Goofy. I thought Goofy was the funniest and the best character and all of that. So the person in the goofy suit was skipping down the street. I remember Pluto was just walking down the street, shaking people's hands on one side, where Goofy was skipping across, going over the middle, right? Like, what, not, not even worried about Ray Lewis, just going over the middle, and he was skipping from side to side. And I sat there going, Goofy, Goofy, Goofy. Like, you're not even understanding how sound travels is that the fucking dude could not hear me. And, of course, he skipped on past... I didn't get to shake his hand. I never met him. And it bugged me. And then I went there when I was a little bit older. Still didn't meet him, right? So today, we go downstairs for breakfast. And uh, lo and behold, oh, no, wait, wait, I, I missed it. We went into the park. And who's standing there taking pictures with a line of people is fucking goofy. I'm like, oh, shit. I've been waiting for this picture for over 40 years. So I stand in line with my daughter and I get there. One of the Disney people's just like, yeah, Goofy's got a show, man. He's, he's got to go. He's got to go. So like, this is the end of the line. And I went, all right, I get it. You got to be the bad guy. No worries. No problem. And he says, all right, cool. And then Cruella DeVille was hanging out. And uh, my friend was saying that Cruella's like the best character to play because you can like openly shit on people because it's part of your character. Like he, <laughs> like my kid... And the other kid that she was with were like screaming at one point and, and the Cruella de Vil person said, oh, who's making that awful noise or something? <laughs> was kind of awesome. And she was being all arrogant and acting like, you know, she was the shit. I really enjoyed meeting her, but I didn't get to meet Goofy, right? So I'm leaving and we're going downstairs to go to breakfast and I'm thinking like, all right, you know. 
This is the last little breakfast thing here. You know, the last little $900 for fucking poached eggs I'm going to have to pay for. And we show up breakfast and who's standing there doing a fucking step and repeat pictures or whatever is Goofy. Right? The Buffalo Bills driving with nine minutes to go. The Buffalo Bills are driving. I'm just saying this for me because by the time this is posted, this game will be over. Um, fucking Goofy standing there. So I stand in line. It's like, you know, five sets of parents, sets of parents, not just parents, five sets of parents, like two and three people. They all went to Disney together and they're standing in line, standing in line. And we get down to like one family in front of us and Goofy just fucking, he just bounces. He walks. And I'm like, what the fuck? And then the, the lady goes, oh, Goofy just had to go take a quick break, but blah, 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 blah. I'm like, all right, the guy, you know, the guy's got to take a leak. Worst case scenario, a dump. This will be a good seven minutes. He's coming back. He washed his hands. He's got the white gloves on. All right, this is cool. Goofy's coming back. We stand there for seven to 10 minutes. And fucking Pluto comes walking around the corner. Like, this is like an acceptable substitute. It reminded me way back in the day when I went to the Boston Garden to go see the Ice Capades and Dorothy Hamill, the Olympic gold medal medal winner for women's in 1976, was supposed to be doing the figure skating. And right as the lights went down, they go, we're sorry, Dorothy Hamill will not be skating. All right, fucking uh, Skylar What's-His-Face from the fucking Miami Dolphins is going to be, everybody's like, what the fuck, we're all, that's what we came out for. She was like America's sweetheart. Like all the chicks were going out, getting her hair cut. Even Shirley from Laverne and Shirley, that TV show had a Dorothy Hamill fucking haircut and she fucking, she bounced, she dipped, whatever the kids say, just like Goofy. So fucking dude leaves and then Pluto comes back around. I got fucked again. And my wife was laughing She because she always calls little me when she thinks... And when I tell her stories from my childhood, she always goes, oh, baby, baby. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm walking away. And she's just laughing. She just goes, I go, the guy fucking dipped and Pluto came back and she laughed. I go, I've been waiting to get that photo for over 40 years. And then she goes, oh. <laughs> so I put my head down and act like I'm all sad. She goes, baby, baby. Um, and then I, I don't know, we went, we ordered some other stuff, but I got to say something, man. I had a great time. Once you got in the park, Jesus Christ, they got this downtown Disney, whatever the fuck that is. Um, I will say though, we saw this band there the night before, uh, Mexican band killing it, killing it. Was that fourth and six? Oh, you got to run. You got to run the length of the field. No, 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 no. Don't try to pass it over here. Oh, no, you don't. Um, that's the ball game right there, ladies and gentlemen. That was not even a good thrown ball. Why is he acting as though he did something? I just, I swear to God. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm going to say this because I want it to be true. I want to retire as a sports fan. And I feel like what the Eagle, the Philadelphia Eagles head coach did, like playing to the camera. Like he's not coaching a team, nodding vigorously after whatever the Eagles did and says, I know what the fuck I'm doing. Like that's good. Like the amount of young coaches that saw that and is like, I'm going to do my version of that. It it was bad enough when they did a half hour segment on the fucking Ravens field goal kicker. I, I, I didn't watch it. I just saw the advertising where he also sings in an acapella. Who gets that's a fucking kicker? Who gives a shit? Oh, and he's got an attitude when he kicks that ball. Like now, now let me get this. Now, now that now a kicker is a personality, I have to deal with that. And then it becomes fucking now a coach is going to be a personality. Now he's going to be wagging his finger. He's going to be shaking his head. He's going to be like at one point he was hamming it up so bad. The NFL literally did a 360 shot around him. The same shot Tarantino used on Pam Greer 
and fucking uh, Jackie Brown when she was coming out of the goddamn dressing room. They did that to an NFL coach who looked like some jerk-off that's out there shoveling a driveway.